Salute to all my people. Y'all like money if you haven't already. We're going to talk about uh, Dr. Umar. Now, Dr. Umar reportedly received a cease and desist for all those donations. <laughs> donations. Don Man, it always strains me how he repeat everything like five or six times. He'd be like, my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, donations, donations. <laughs> At the end of the day, he received a cease and desist, you know, from all those donations he received for Marcus Garvey, whatever, Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, something. Now, at the end of the day, this is something when I first heard it years back. You know, when I first heard him bringing that to the forefront and saying that's what he wanted to do for the young children, I looked at it as if, you know, a black man, before I got into the deep dissect of a Dr. Umar, I looked at it as a black man that was really trying to do something for the people. We always want to see people build, you know, schools, build different things for our children. If that's what they say, that's the vision that they have. We would love to see them act on it. When I see somebody like Dr. Umar for years and years and years, or oh, 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 for all this time, been telling people that, you know, the school is going to be open and still receiving donations. <laughs> been receiving all these cash apps on top of cash apps and gifts and gifts cards. Um, the people that's been donating to it, they, they've been wondering, you know, when will the school open? And he said some thing or something slick along the lines of if you're not cash apping or donating, then you shouldn't be asking or something along them lines, paraphrasing, right? When I sit back and look at a guy like Dr. Umar, it seems as though he had made a lot of money, you know, off of this, you know, this, this thing of opening up this school. It seems as though he had capitalized in so many ways on, you know, whatever this school was supposed to be. Nevertheless, I would like to see, you know, those people, those people that, that donated all that money, if it don't get open or if it continue to get dragged out, you know, they get some type of justification as to why is this not opening or what is the situation that's going on right now. Now, I'm not saying a man ain't going to open a school. Uh, I didn't donate to it. As he said, if you didn't donate, you shouldn't be asked and paraphrase it. <laughs> so I don't really know. But at the end of the day, what I do know is he received a cease and desist. He reacted to it and said that, you know, if you think that it's going to stop whatever he got going on, you, you know, you're sadly mistaken in so many words. Again, I'm paraphrasing. I want to know what y'all think. We ain't going to be much long because like, I'm going to start condensing the content down. I, I find that to be a lot more easier to get straight to the point. When I look at somebody like Dr. Umar, man, it just go to show you a lot of people in our community scam the people off our community. We take our money and spend it outside our community. And then when we say we're going to buy black, we're going to invest in black, uh, black businesses or black schools or black banks. You know, we always seem to get the shorty end of the stick. They say, yo, people do you the worst. Family do you the worst. And at the end of the day, when I see somebody like Dr. Umar, it seems as though you know his pitch for opening the school been going on for a very long time and it don't seem as though it's opening no time soon now i know different guys that said they went up there and i know different guys that had different stories and testimonies as to you know uh the school having a sketchy background you know from the workers and beyond but that's a whole nother story for another day uh i will leave that for those people but what i will say is you know somebody like dr umar has made a lot of money you know a lot of money off the cash apps and donations and all these other things and it seems as though he going to continue to drag this 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 semi scam. I don't want to put scam on him, but it seemed like more of a scam than anything to me because you know one thing you do know, man, a person is getting a job done, they will at least show you the process and will at least give you some accurate or some some at least some round and about dates that things are supposed to be opening. Now this school has supposed to been open for a while now. People been cash app and then donating for a very long time. That was the cease and desist that I showed y'all, man. But at the end of the day. Um, to the people that have been donating or the people that have been sitting back watching, what do y'all think as pertaining to Dr. Umar receiving a cease and desist about him and these schools that's supposed to be open uh, that, you know, the people really haven't seen yet? Me, like I say, man, a lot of these black guys, these conscious community dudes, we have seen some of the lowest points of them over the last year. You know, it seemed like the state had been, you know, tired of all those donations, donations. Brothers and sisters. Negroes running around talking about some cease and desist. Cease and desist what? Cease and desist what? Cease and desist what? Cease and desist the liberation? Never. Cease and desist the resistance movement? Never. Cease and desist the sacrifice for our unborn children? Hell no. We not going to cease and desist. We not going to cease and desist, brothers and sisters. The struggle will continue until all Africans are free. I said the struggle will continue until all Africans defeat. 
Keep listening to them if you want, brothers and sisters. We have to do the work for the community. We have to do the work for the people. It seemed like they wanted to look a little bit more into it. They said, one thing we do know about the state, one thing we do know about America, they don't want to see nobody getting all that money and they ain't got their hands on it. The, the cease and desist letter, I showed y'all a copy of it. It says something along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing, says something along the lines of, you know, the, the charitable organization wasn't registered or, or whatever the case may be. So that just let me know that, you know, he's been receiving a lot of money and he's been on their radar and it seems as though they want they want a piece of the pie. America is more greedy than anything. So when they see you able to make all this money and it don't seem like you really doing what you said you was going to do with it. Now they want to get their hand in the money because they said it's not a registered uh, to the bureau or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Charitable organization. So that just let me know that, you know, they've been sitting back watching him. And if they say that, then that lets you know that, you know, um, it ain't, it's not registered. So it's, it's it legally it's not, you know, you're not able to take all those. Down. I think this man received millions of dollars. Or, or some crazy amount of dollar about, you know, this school and whatever else. At the end of the day, that's to his people to decide. Hopefully they get the justification for where all their money have gone. Outside of that, that's all I got to say about the situation. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. Each one, teach one. Love and respect.